Almost 1 billion people don't have access to clean drinking water. Just $20 would give one person clean drinking water for 20 years. Charity Water can make that happen. This is how the 100% funds work for Charity Water. First you make your donation to the charity, and then your donations are combined with everybody else's. And once every three months, grants go out to the in-country partners so the work can begin on ground. There, a team of drillers and a hygiene worker are employed, and the building of the well begins. Once the well is complete, the GPS coordinates are taken so that you can see the results of your donation on Google Earth. Sustainability is key to the success of every project. Communities elect leaders to receive training in the water, projects, repairs and hygiene to reduce water-related diseases. A team of local drillers begin construction and a sanitation worker trains the members of the community. Once the well is complete and the drilling team leaves, the hygiene workers live in the community for up to five years making sure sanitation practices are integrated into everyday lives. Article 3, Life and Security. Charity Water provides clean drinking water for many communities. People have the right to a clean and healthy life. Charity Water helps give people this. Article 23, Employment. Charity Water employs a team of workers including drillers and hygienic specialists. This is not based on color, gender, culture, or status. They also get paid sustainable wages. Article number 25, Standard of Living. People in third world countries do not have a great enough standard of living. They are most likely unemployed, deprived of food and water, and are very poor. Charity Water provides pumps of clean drinking water to support a community of 250 people for up to 20 years. This raises their living standards and helps with many health-related issues. Every day, 80% of diseases from dirty drinking water kill more people than violence and war combined. So far, Charity Water has funded 2,321 projects in 16 different countries with 22 local partners on the ground which will give 1,048,309 people access to clean drinking water. 70 of these projects are in clinics and hospitals, 290 are in schools, and 1,961 are for communities at large. Give water, give life. America. My name is Jacob Mutomuizo and I'm, I'm just starting to carve and this is my father. He, he taught me everything I know, everything I know about art and I'm just doing uh, elephant abstracts these days and I, I hope you like my pieces. And I also hope that he's going to do better than just elephant abstracts. I think I'll have to teach him a little bit more of uh, sculpture. I'm hoping that maybe in future he'll be a good artist, maybe a better artist than myself. We always hope our children are better than us. Thank you. That's good. Victor, how many years have we been doing business with art together? 
Well, well, actually, we've been doing for a long time now. It could be 18 to 20 years, I think, mm. working, as, working together. Good. And I've enjoyed every minute of it. This one is, um, is more to do with uh, nature. It's, it's a plant that I am working in the stone. And, and the plant itself is a man that is uh, coming out of the plant which is more spiritual or could be somebody who actually works with plants and then he would look like a plant himself mm. yeah this this is a constructed piece what does that mean it means that the head comes off it's different stone yeah it's a different stone it's not a whole piece i'll say hello and we hope to meet you sometime <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep right. good looking. Keep good looking? Yeah. They can't help but keep good looking. <laughs> so you were talking about being marginalized as a young about artist? Being a uh, marginalized as a young artist. And they would want people to expose our art because it is us, the young artists, we have got something to tell the world. See, it's not a matter of uh, taking a piece of stone and start caving, but we've got a message to. Uh, to put across, we've got a special message to deliver to the world. But uh, how can we do that if uh, we are not being exposed? We are the rural people, and what we would want is to bring our people to the attention of uh, everybody. I mean, to show, to show to the world what we are made of. And uh, the most important that we want is to have somebody who can uh, bring our attention to the world.